um, showing y'all how a John Deere 1720 uh, 12 row planter works. This is the one we use. Uh, we use it to plant corn and uh, early beans on rows. So let's get into it. So that's basically the unit. So as I'm pretty sure everyone knows, the tractor drives. That's basic number one. Then this is on. This tractor is on a three-point hitch lift. Um, plant or this planter is sorry, but these planters come in. Uh, planters come in all kind of configurations. Even the same brand or same number of rows, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're all different. Um, this is a Max Emerge Plus vacuum meter meter planter. Um, so to get started, basically the tractor drives, as I said, um, it then puts the planter down where it wants to start or where the, the operator, which uh, most time it's me on this planter or my uncle. Um, so basically we put it down where we want to start planting and then as it hits the ground, um, these these four wheels start turning and then it drives these chains and just like this. And everything turns just like that. So as you just saw, this this all this uh, connects from chains and these. I'll show you right here. These kind of will spin around and hit each other and start planting. Um, and then what we've got right here is as this bar turns, it turns this chain as well. And this um this chain spins this this is um a, what you'd call a meter this is the maximum plus meter as i said before um i will get into the inside but first this right here this is a vacuum that's where the vacuum meter comes from it's pull suction through these hoses right here which connect to here um, I'm not going to show y'all how because I don't know why but anyway so in here take that off you have your plate um, and like I said it spins and you know the vacuum hole is right here as I just showed you those chains spin this and it spins and uh, the seed is like right in here most of the time. So right up in here as it comes out of, yeah, because it comes out of here and goes in here. And then this spins and the vacuum um, sucks. It pulls in and it pulls in the seed into that really small, those really small holes in there. So let's uh, get this out. Maybe. Now is where it, when it gets complicated to understand. So basically the seed comes in there, as you can see on the holes where the uh, stuff has been there. Um, and so when it spins, it spins that part. These brushes um, kind of uh, brush the plate off, I guess. And it also keeps the seed from going in there. Um, then it comes, like I said, it comes right here. It gets picked up. Uh, the vacuum comes all the way around and then it loses its vacuum pressure and it drops and if it doesn't drop it goes it, well, it drops and it goes through that hole into the C tube there and um, then it comes around here and it hits that and that just scrapes any seed that may be sticking on there so I'm gonna get on from that part this well, this holds 1.5 bushels of corn or beans or whatever um, well, that's about all you, well, you, that's the main things we plant with it, so I hold 1.5 bushels of that. So, like I said, there's the seed tube. So, we've been into all of that kind of stuff. So, let's now get into this. These are trash sweepers, and uh, they just kind of go in front and sweep the trash uh, off the things, going to, off their, that's in front of the row, they kind of throw the trash out to the side just like that and then this is your no-till disc um this is these discs are not designed for no-till so they put these on here um because this is and so that kind of cuts the ground open where you haven't piled if 
your no-tilling, which means you don't plow. Um, so then we've got these discs. They open up what you call the trench. They turn. They turn. Um, <clears throat> then you've got these. These are basically um, gauge wheels. And they are, yeah, they will pick up when you set it down like this. And they will control the depth. Um, this is a Keaton. It, or a seed firmer. It goes in the trench and it secures the seed and kind of puts it with pressure. It lays it flat. And this comes through and it sprays fertilizer into the trench. Then we've got these. These are Yetter uh, side by side. Uh, we just call them the side by side fertilizer applicators. But it's made by Yetter. It's got the discs here. They cut alongside the trench because you can only put so much inside the trench. So this puts, and it goes through, it cuts that, and it sprays right out of there into the uh, little, uh, the little open hole that that those blades have cut. It uh, then these are the closing wheels. They basically just come through and pinch it together. Um, and then this is how you adjust the pressure on them if you need more or um, less. And you've got this right here. This is how you go, um, that goes deeper and that goes shallower. So, I'm not really going to get too much into the fertilizer, but this tractor does have three tanks, one in the front and two on the sides. Um, that right there is the pump for the Keatons. That goes into the center down there. We put uh, five gallons through it and most of the time. And then this is um, the pump for the side-by-side. -side which we are going to be putting about 15 gallons through this year, um, this plant season. So 15 gallons per acre. So and that's your row marker. Basically this is a stack fold planter. Um, stacks up in the air. Uh, those are, those just kind of show your pressure. By, those little balls will float up and that kind of shows your pressure when the fertilizer is running through those pipes there. Um, I think I have covered everything. Um, yeah, well, this, um, these right here, this puts more pressure down right here on your row unit to keep um, it down. And that is, yeah, that's um, pretty much it, guys. So y'all should see some, um, Planting video is coming up pretty soon because we're getting pretty daggone close um, to it being planting season and I cannot wait. So without with that, um, please like and subscribe and uh, tell about my channel please to someone you think would like videos like this. Uh, and thank y'all for watching. Um, have a good day.